seven reasons why you're not closing sales. Listen, are you getting on the phone with people that aren't buying? Tired of having prospects say no, not now, the investment's too much, or any other number of excuses of why they're not buying right now? If so, you're gonna love this video as we unpack the top seven reasons why you're not closing sales, along with what you can change right now to start closing more deals. Hi, I'm Jessica Yarbrough, top business strategist for coaches and consultants who want to sell and scale ultra high ticket program. I've literally helped clients who were struggling to sell 5,000 or 10,000, even $20,000 packages to confidently owning their value and pitching 75K to $200,000 deals. And I've done this over and over again for my clients. So I know a lot about the marketing and sales that goes behind successfully closing ultra high ticket deals. I also know what can go wrong in a sales conversation and cause you to lose control and opportunity and along with how marketing directly impacts the quality of people that you're even getting on the phone with. So let's dive in. Number one, you're on the phone with the wrong people. The number one reason why you're likely not closing sales is that you're on the phone with the wrong people. Listen, there are a ton of done for you lead generation agencies out there that will promise you X number of guaranteed appointments every month. And maybe you bought into their services and re realize that you'll get on a lot of calls, but it's with the wrong people. And look, if you're getting on calls with people that are not your target market, then that is a waste of time for both you and the prospect. And if you wanna fix this, you need to address your marketing and make sure that both your audience and the messaging that you're putting out is aligned with the type of client that you serve and the problems that you solve. Number two, you're attracting cheaple or freeple. Another reason why you might not be closing sales is that you're attracting these kinds of folks. There's again, a lot of lead generations agencies out there and they'll say, hey, I guarantee you 15 to 75 qualified appointments you know, and oftentimes this is actually the kinds of people that it's going to attract, right? It's going to attract people that where you'll generate appointments, maybe they're actually in your target market in terms of pains and desires, but they're not in terms of investing. Cheaple are those looking for the cheapest solution. They are literally price shopping and they're looking for a deal. Or perhaps you're getting on the phone with the freeple, those people that have no intention of buying whatsoever really for, from anyone. And these are the folks that book discovery calls, with every coach or consultant out there trying to extract information without spending a dime. Newsflash, these people never get results, right? Because they need a strategist, a coach to help them like yourself. But if you uh, are attracting this kind of prospect, you need to fix it immediately. Again, you have to fix your marketing right? So that you can start to repel these kinds of people and attract in those that are ready and willing to invest. Additionally, I strongly recommend creating powerful systems to protect your time. And you can do this through an application process to ensure you're only on the phone with people that have an intention of investing. Also, if you're on a sales conversation and you sense that this person is just there to extract information and doesn't have any intention of buying from you, then get them off the phone quickly. Don't waste your time or energy on these people. Number three, they don't have any idea who you are or what you do. Another reason why you might not be closing sales is that you're on the phone with people that are your ideal clients, but they don't really know anything about you. Again, this is usually a byproduct of those lead gen agencies. They, they may even produce qualified leads on paper, but when you get to the sales conversation, they know nothing about you. And so what happens is you go into convincing mode and trying to prove yourself. Never go into convincing mode in a sales conversation. Ideally, you want to have prospects coming to the call who are pre-framed to buy. I always say that when your marketing is done right, it should do the heavy lifting in terms of your sales conversation because 80% of sales happen before a conversation ever takes place. This means when your marketing is dialed in, they're clear on who you are. They're clear on the types of problems you solve. And the sales conversation is more of an alignment piece. Are you who you say you are? Do we have a good connection? And of course, talking details around, you know, deliverables and financial arrangements. If you're on the phone with people who don't know who you are or what you do, then you have a marketing problem. 90% of the coaches and consultants that come to me struggling to generate consistent, high quality leads have a communication issue. They fundamentally fail to effectively communicate their value in the marketplace. They talk over people's heads. Their messaging and positioning is weak. They don't have expert authority. And you can fix all of this. And when you do, it allows you to clearly, precisely, and powerfully articulate who you are, who you help, what you help them do, and the kind of results you can get them.
And this is a game changer for your ability to convert those prospects into a closed sale. And by the way, if you haven't already, be sure to download my free in-depth guide on the ladder of influence. It really addresses a lot of these issues. The link is pinned in the comments below. Number four, you don't know how to hold a powerful sales conversation. Another reason why you might not be closing sales is you don't know how to close sales. And listen, not everyone is born naturally good at sales, but I do believe you can train yourself to be more effective. There's a specific arc to a sales conversation. There's certainly a flow in terms of probing so that you can qualify and demonstrating your authority and knowing how to pitch. But there's also the subtleties of knowing how to create rapport and build trust all along the way. Listen, I've listened to many of my client sales conversations over the years and helped them strengthen the way they show up on these calls. Again, there's a formula that you can follow, but there's also nuances that can really make or break a deal. This is why it's key to work with an expert strategist, especially when big money is on the line, so that you can take this person who is clearly interested in your services across the finish line to become a paying client. Number five, you talk too much. Another reason why you might be uh, not be closing sales is that you talk too much. Listen, if you're talking their head off, you're gonna lose them. All right, there is a time during the sales conversation where you will do more talking, but the prospect really should be doing most of the talking. Sometimes you can literally talk yourself out of a deal, so make sure you're keeping a check on how much you're talking versus how much they're talking. And don't ramble on as you will lose people. Also, sometimes people get nervous and they start to speed up their talking, trying to, but I want you to try to stay calm throughout the process. Or maybe you're someone that has anxiety when you talk about pricing. And so rather than letting them sit and digest the number that you just presented to them, you immediately start trying to justify and wheel and deal and you lose all credibility in that moment. Slow down, don't ramble, don't be so quick to speak, uh, don't try to feel those fill those empty spaces with words, allow people time to process what you're saying and let them do most of the talking. Number six, you lose possession of the conversation. Another reason why you might not, might not be closing sales is that you lose possession of the call. And this may happen if you're on the phone with someone who's very type A and who wants to cut to the chase and you're in the middle of trying to qualify them and they're just like, tell me about your program. Well, don't give them possession of the conversation. You should never pitch someone until you fully qualify them because you might find out during that qualification process that they're not a fit, or they may be a fit, but you actually don't like them. You don't want them as a client. Remember to stand in your power, maintain possession of the conversation, and also keep in mind that they're the ones that raised their hand to work with you. They're the ones that initiated a call. And so they need to follow your process. And if they push back, hold firm, push right back to them. And by the way, if they can't respect your process during your initial call, that's a telltale sign. They're probably gonna be a nightmare client, so say goodbye and move on. Number seven, they aren't ready. A final reason why you might not be closing sales is that they aren't ready. And this one is a hard pill to swallow for a lot of coaches and consultants, especially when you get on the phone with someone and they're perfect on paper and the call goes great and, and you know that they have the money and that you can help them right? And they, they still say no, they just aren't ready. The reason why I shared this one last is because oftentimes when I analyze a coach or consultant's business that may be stuck, there's a lot of fundamental work we have to do around their offer and their marketing and their messaging and their positioning and their systems. And all of those things really impact the quality of leads coming to a conversation. We also do have to do work around their sales conversation so that when they have someone who is a good fit and is ready, they don't blow it and they're able to successfully sign them as a paying client. However, you are still sometimes gonna get people who you know you can help, who have the money, and who still don't buy because they go into a place of fear and they're just not ready. And you may never even know the reason why they don't buy. It could very well be the money. It could be that they have commitment issues. It could be any number of reasons. And so my advice to you is to not beat yourself up if they don't buy. Don't energetically enroll into anyone until they become a paying client. Don't concern yourself with someone's success until they sign a contract and pay you. That is when you can invest your emotional energy into that person. If they don't buy, it's nothing personal. They're either not ready or they're ready, right? 
And if you have all the pieces dialed in that I described, your offer, your marketing, your sales, and your systems, and they still don't buy, then they're not ready and there's nothing that you can do about it. This wraps up my video on seven reasons why you're not closing sales. Please hit that like button and subscribe so you know when each of my new videos drops. I would love to know what was your biggest takeaway. Leave a comment below and I'll take a look. Until next time.